Hey guys, what's up? It's Moz here, and welcome back to another video. So, I know one of the biggest struggles with uploading content to YouTube is how slow it can be at times. At my old house, my upload speed was only like 0.6 which was honestly awful and I couldn't upload a video without everyone else in the house lagging and sometimes my internet would just straight up disconnect and I have no clue why. So to get around that, whenever I was like first on the YouTube grind and I was like trying to upload my videos and everything, I was uploading them at midnight when everyone else was asleep in my house just so that my video could actually upload successfully and no one else would have to suffer the slow internet. So it would take me hours to upload just like a 5 minute video and it was actually that bad. So in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to upload videos to YouTube faster in 2017. And we'll be doing that by using a software called Handbrake which basically compresses the the file size of your video so that you can upload it faster barely losing any quality at all if this video does help you even in the slightest if you could hit that like button then i'd greatly appreciate it 500 likes on this video would be awesome and also i will have my post notification shout out at the end of the video just so that it doesn't get in the way of the tutorial but on that let's get on with the video so i'm gonna have a link in the description below and on screen on where you can go to download handbrake the installation is super easy and should be done within a minute or so but for the video i'll be using handbrake to compress the gameplay footage i recorded last night which is currently uh let me check uh, i believe believe it is 2.82 gigabytes and actually I, record, I didn't even record it last night I recorded it a bit not like three hours ago but anyways uh so if I had a slow upload speed and was trying to upload this video it would take me incredibly long to upload to YouTube so also keep in mind that yes I'm up using a gaming video as an example for this video but this can work for vlogs webcams screen recordings or really anything out there that's like media related but anyways once you do have handbrake open and have your video all edited up and rendered with your editing software all you have to do is just open up handbrake and then click on open source right here click on the file button and then browse for the video that you want to upload to YouTube. So I believe mine is in the recordings and then Elgato and it's right here. So click on open. So once you do have the file selected and are back here, make sure that your container is set to MP4 instead of MKV and then click on browse right here and then just go anywhere on your desktop or really wherever you want to save the final file to and just give it a name. So I'm just going to name it test for YouTube. And although I am saving it to my desktop, normally I usually save it to like my D drive or my E drive or something. These are drives that you probably don't have, but I like to save my videos to like a specific folder or something like that where I can find them later on. But once you're done, just click on save and you should be good to go from there. Make sure you do hit that web optimize button right here. And under the picture tab, you really have nothing to change. Maybe change the anamorphic thing from automatic to loose, or maybe if it was on none, change it to loose. And then moving on from that, we can go to filters. And same thing for filters. We really don't have to do anything here. We can leave this on off, decomb, default, default, off, all the way to the left for this. Don't check any of these boxes. Click uh, have rotate on zero. And again, you don't have to do anything there. So the video tab is where a lot of the magic actually happens. So be sure to pay attention because this is what's going to help you out a ton. Um, also, don't worry if you don't have this use advanced tab thing right here. I'm going to teach you how to get that. But anyways, what we want to do is change the video codec to H.264. It might be on something else, but make sure you change it to H.264. For frame rate, go ahead and change this to same as source. Don't worry if your frame rate for your video is 30 FPS or 60 or whatever. If you have it on same as source, it's going to remain the same as whatever like the source video is. Make sure that instead of constant frame rate, you have it on variable frame rate. And moving on from that, we actually have the quality section right here and myself and most people I've talked to feel that anywhere between 18 or 22 is really good and like it's like the sweet spot for quality so the closer you move it to the left the smaller the video size is going to be which means that you'll have more space on your computer and your video is going to upload way faster if it's closer to the left but trust me it is not worth the loss in quality that you're going to be facing so I like to keep mine around like 20 maybe 21 or 22 uh, moving it closer to here is just going to make the file size bigger and honestly I don't feel like it's going to make any difference once it's like once it's like in this range so if I was you I'd probably keep it at somewhere between 22 to 20 so i'm just gonna make mine 22 and i believe 20 is the default but honestly just keep it somewhere in there so you don't have to like suffer a loss in quality um moving on from here you might have these checked or unchecked and you're like oh my god i can't uncheck them and match your settings all i have to do is just click this uncheck them it really makes no sense to like follow along with that part because we're gonna be using constant quality anyway um from here so in case you don't have the use advanced tab option click on tools and then go down to preferences and then make sure you have this third box checked allow use of advanced tab for x264 options click on back and then you'll have it right here so this step actually has two like ways that you can do it so i'm going to be covering both for the video and you can just follow along for the first step just change this one to the right and make it medium you can put encoder tune to none keep encoder profile on auto and same for encoder level don't check fast decode and then you're good from there but I recommend doing all of that and then clicking on use advanced tab instead because then it makes some changes in the advanced tab that I'm going to have ready. From there we can move on to audio and I just like to keep mine at 320. For subtitles I don't really do anything here, I don't play with subtitles and same with chapters. But then moving on to the advanced tab, I know how scary this can look but I'm going to be walking you guys through all of it step by step so don't worry about anything. So the first thing that you do want to do is just change reference frames from 3 to 4 and that's it. Like you don't have to do anything else on this, I was just messing with you guys. But you can keep everything else on default but just make sure that like 
the default does match my settings still. So these settings right here is what you want to have on your screen. But if you did make the changes right here that I was telling you guys to do before you check this button, then you should be good to go. And all you should have had to do is change reference form frames from three to four. From there, all you have to do is just click on start encode and let it start encoding. And then you can maybe see like a file that just appears on your screen. And then it's just going to start encoding. It shouldn't take too long. It really just depends on how fast your computer is. And I do know that this is like kind of taking up some time, but as you can see, like mine's already at 3%. It's about to hit four in a couple of seconds. But anyways, like this is well worth it because your video will be able to upload to YouTube that much faster. Now, um, I'm, I am going to show you guys a comparison video between like the normal video and the one I just compressed so that you guys can see that there's little to no loss in quality but i'll be doing that like towards the end of the video like right after this i just want to show you guys the comparison in the size so i believe the one we just did was like 2.82 no yeah so 2.82 gigabytes which can take a really long time to upload a video that's almost three gigabytes so i'm gonna let this compress and then i'm gonna show you guys whatever the file size is on for the compressor video that we're like compressing right now so i'll talk to you guys in a bit all right guys so the video actually did finish up and i showed you guys that the one that i used was 2.82 gigabytes and this one right here is 674 megabytes that's such a big decrease in size and now i'm going to be showing you guys a comparison between this and then like the original one and you guys can see that there's literally little to no quality loss at all so i hope you guys really did enjoy this video here's the post notification shout out from my last video if you do want one just hit that bell icon below until it looks like the one i have circled here Comment below saying you did it and tweet me a screenshot for extra proof. Also again, if this did help you in any way at all, please hit that like button and subscribe because I'd love to get to 100,000 subscribers before the year ends. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have fun uploading. Peace.